So we are currently in the midst of yet another epidemic. But this time, it's 10 year olds who are being dropped off at the mall by their parents, walking into Sephora and causing absolute chaos with the products that are on the shelves. Now, throughout the holiday period, I was hearing about this left and right. But I didn't think anything of it. I thought people were seriously just exaggerating because I wasn't seeing any proof of these kids destroying these products at Sephora. But then I actually looked into it myself and it's worse than what I was expecting. So this one TikToker uploaded this video of themselves walking into a Sephora store and the very first group of people that you see in this Sephora is kids. And this is already a problem simply just because Sephora is not for kids. If you look at the target demographic for Sephora, it's for adult women from 24 to 35 years old. But the people that we see most in these stores now are people way younger than that. Now, because there was a group of kids standing outside Sephora and a group of kids inside the Sephora, you can only begin to imagine what the testers look like after they've left. I just saw a girl on my free page talking about how Sephora has become the new Claire's. There's a bunch of 10 year olds running around fiending for a drunk elephant and like peeing for rare beauty as if Selena Gomez is in the building. And let me tell you, I have a story for you. These 10 year olds are crazy. Like literally the most feral. I was a camp counselor. The Sephora kids are different than any type of kids. First of all, whatever did happen to Claire's? Because I catch myself going into Claire's sometimes when I want a pair of cheap earrings for like a random event that I'm never going to wear. I think it's pretty simple to understand what's going on here. These kids are walking into Sephora because they've seen that it's popular on TikTok. And then they rush towards the sections with the products that they see on TikTok the most. And because these kids are only kids, they don't know how to use the products and they certainly can't afford to buy the products for themselves. And so they're using the products as toys in the store. And because they don't actually have to buy the testers, they think they can do anything that they want with the testers, which is why they make such a mess. Under the comment section of the TikTok that I just showed you, I saw this really interesting comment that I think a majority of the people watching this video actually relate to. Growing up, I never went to Sephora. I genuinely think the first time I went was at 16 with my sister. And I can relate to that commenter 100% because I literally took a picture of the bag that I bought from Mecca, which is basically Australia's version of Sephora. On the 11th of January of 2022, I was probably 15 or 16 here. And when I tell you that was the first bag of makeup I had ever bought for myself in my entire life, I mean that because throughout my childhood, I just went into my sister's room and used her makeup. But it gets to a point where obviously your older sister's gonna be like, uh, this is mine, get your own stuff, you're old enough for it now. So it is genuinely crazy for me to see that there are 10 year olds going into Sephora and having so much fun in there. Then there was this person who uploaded this video and somehow the products look even worse than they do in the first video that I showed you. Which will be an ongoing pattern by the way because yes, it does get worse from here. So they're not putting the products back where they belong at all. They're smudging the product all over the casing. They're smudging different products onto the displays of these products that are holding them and testing out every single shade of a foundation they know they're not going to buy. And this is a problem because there are going to be people who come in after these children have completely destroyed the products, wanting to actually genuinely test the product out to see if they want to buy it or not, but are completely unable to do so because there's no clean product there for them to test out. And I know that some people are going to say, oh, you shouldn't be using testers anyway, they're disgusting. And while I do agree with that statement because I will never use a tester from a makeup store in my life, there's also nothing wrong with using the testers and there's nothing wrong with the people who do use the testers because that's what they're there for, to test it out, to see if you like it, not to play with. Now, up until this point in the video, I've just been using videos made from customers' perspectives. 
But there are actual employees who work at Sephora who are documenting this epidemic. This teenager came in and destroyed our store. Look, she poked with each bronzer and we gotta clean it. We have to clean all of this up. Look at this. She squeezed all of the primers out. Scratch the powders out like this. Look how deep the mess is. I'm about to go deep and clean this with some alcohol or I might use some other gooby gone, but look at this. So it's a problem, not just because customers who are actually of age to use and buy these products come into the store and are completely unable to use the testers because they are so gross, but it's a problem because actual employees who work at these stores are the ones who are responsible for cleaning all of that mess up. But then this employee uploaded yet another TikTok where they prove that not only are kids coming in to destroy the testers and the cosmetics, but they're walking over to the candles and completely destroying them. Not just makeup, it's candles too. Look at this. Nest. This is how the candle should look. Versus this they've done to nest but I'd have to say the most bizarre thing that I've seen come out of this entire epidemic is the fact that these kids are going into Sephora and making something called a skincare smoothie So basically, what they'll do is they'll get one of the drunk elephant products and they'll squeeze the cream out of the packaging, obviously. And then they'll grab several other products that aren't even drunk elephant and they'll squeeze them on top of the drunk elephant and mix it around to make a disgusting paste. And not only will they just use a bunch of random products that are from completely different brands that have nothing to do with each other, they'll mix these creams with their fingers. I can see why this is being called an epidemic. Dear younger kids and teens, can you please stop doing this to the testers inside of Ulta's and Sephora's? It is absolutely barbaric. It's disgusting. It's so rude. It's so disrespectful. Like, literally, who raised you guys like this? I am appalled. Because there are thousands of videos identical to these skincare smoothie videos on TikTok right now. When I look at these videos, right, all I can think of is how when I was a kid, my siblings and I would go play outside and we'd make potions, which is basically what these kids are doing in Sephora. But instead of using makeup products and skincare products, we would use rocks, we would use sticks, we would use flowers, we would use water from the hose. You'd sprinkle some grass. You'd sprinkle some grass in there that you just ripped out of the ground. That's essentially what these kids are doing. Except they're not outside. They're not using their imagination. So it was genuinely mind-blowing to me to realize that these 10-year-olds are doing the exact same thing that I was doing when I was a child, basically, but in two completely different ways. And because of this skincare smoothie trend, there are now thousands of women who are calling for an age restriction and an age limit on Sephora. And I agree with them. Checking in on the drunk elephant testers to see what lovely surprises were left. seems to be 
happening within the Sephoras is that these kids, simply put, just have no manners. Here's a mother who had a story time about her experience with a child in Sephora and she was appalled because she's like, oh, if you're gonna treat me like this, are you treating your own mother like this? And I specifically was looking for the Summer Fridays lip balm in mint. It, I'm going in, the products there on the shelf, I'm like here, my hand is like here and this 10 year old swoops in, grabs it and I'm like, what the fuck just happened? And I look at her and she looks at me, she's like, hmm, Sorry, it's mine now. Wait, it gets worse. She proceeds to open up the package, use the lip balm on her lips, and she's like, hmm, no, not for me. I don't like the flavor. Throws the packaging, throws the product on the shelf, and just walks away. And behind me at the same time, a girl is arguing with her dad, demanding that he buys the dewdrops for her. Then there was another person who uploaded their experience with a child in line at Sephora. I had so much beef with a 10 year old at Sephora today. There was a really long line. And by the time I got in line, this girl gets behind me and she ends up like walking in front of me. And she's like, oh, are you in line? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, can I come in front of you? And I'm like, no. She rolls her eyes at me and gets behind me. And by the time we get closer to cashier registers, you can like look at all the little stands with all the mini stuff. And I'm just like looking and I'm, I'm not really grabbing anything. And this girl, she has this big ass bag, by the way. She's like maybe 10 or 11 at most. She walks past me and like hits me with her bag. And I turn around like, what the fuck? And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, you can at least say excuse me. She's like, well, I tried to, but apparently you're deaf. They're just bullies. They're literally going into Sephora to ruin products and to bully people. Oh my God. <laughs> What is going to happen with Gen Alpha in the future? I'm scared. And she gets back in line behind me after whatever she gets. And I start feeling like this box like rubbing on my back. And I, like I start moving around so it can stop. I obviously know it's the girl behind me. And it keeps rubbing on my back. And I turn around and I'm like, can I get some personal space? And then she goes like, oh, you're just in my way. We're in line. And while Sephora hasn't addressed this epidemic, there are some individual stores across the country who are taking action against this. Sephora Near Me now requires individuals under 18 to have an adult with them after 6 p.m. Because when you, as a skincare brand, start marketing towards kids, what do you think is gonna happen? Kids are gonna be kids. They don't really think about their actions or what their actions do to others because they're just kids. So yes, while it's a very big problem for these kids to go into these stores and think that they can do whatever they want with these products, it's also an even bigger problem with the fact that they don't have anywhere else to go because that's not what society provides for them anymore. Um, and we also need to tell parents how to, you know, raise a child, but... Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah! I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!